Today, I'm going to talk about different types of methanol synthesis reactors. In general, there's two different types. The first type is an adiabatic multi-bed quench reactor. I think of this as kind of a standard reactor, one vessel um, with different beds of catalyst and quench or cold syngas going in between the beds to cool them down and manage the exotherm. The second type is an isothermal steam raising tubular reactor, which is a mouthful. But when I think about this type of reactor or how I would describe it, it's kind of like a shell and tube heat exchanger, but flipped up vertically. There's a bunch of tubes in the reactor and then there's catalyst that's inside the tubes. On the shell side, there is um, steam or hot water. And so the exotherm is managed by the hot water Taking, taking the heat from the reaction and steam being created. Uh, in general, it's my understanding that the tubular reactors are more common for newer designs these days. The adiabatic reactors used to be more common a couple, few decades ago, we'll say. Um, and in another video, I'll go over some of the pros and cons of the each type. Have a great day.